Well, and, 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 and right. And don't think for a second that I don't uh, appreciate you giving me a call this morning, even though I didn't identify that telephone number. Don't yeah. think for a second that I don't appreciate you calling me because I do, Brother David. Me and you, we've always yeah. been, as far as I'm concerned, we've always been up front with one another. We ain't tried to deceive right. or lie or cheat or, or misconnive right. or, or manipulate one another. We've always been up front with one another. And I know, I know that either you don't agree or go along or are as committed to the things that I'm committed to as what right. maybe I feel like that you should be. But vice versa, I may not be as committed to things that you are committed to that, that you feel like that I should be committed to. Vice versa. You know what I'm saying? But the bottom line is this. We're all working for the same holy eternal God. We're all trying to build the kingdom of God. Because like I said while ago, it's not our kingdom. It's not this is not about right. us. This is there not about know. us. That's this is not about us. No, I don't own nothing, Dennis. This is not about us. We're 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 not we're not to be idolized or, or worshipped. Yes, Dennis, look at it like this. We are we are the true people on the cross. We either gonna accept Jesus and be saved or be hollering about let me down. I'm gonna go fix this. Lord, get me on the cross so I can go fix this. Stop my death and let me go do this. And and not realizing that all we have to do is say, Lord, it's not my will, it's your will. Just remember me. You know, what is written is written. What is done is done. And and I'm just wanting my soul to make it to help. Well, how do I get to help, Lord? Accept me and love your way. Well, that's part of it. That, that's part of it. That's part of it. That's part of it, brother David. That's part of it. That ain't the whole part. What's the other part? Well, what's the other part other than us believing and and having feelings towards our own soul is is the souls of our brothers and sisters that hasn't never accepted Christ. We're supposed to have a burden in our lives for them. See, we worry about our brothers and sisters when we're the one who are in need first. See, That's once true. we learn how to follow Jesus, then we can lead others. That's but right. I can't lead you to Christ if I'm studying leading you this way and that way, and I'm confusing you. Well, wait a minute. Christ said to be low and humble. But now we're going to do this. We, well, you okay. Know, okay. Well, well, we well I, I have to say you. something to you. I have to say something to you. Right now, i got the recorder going. So the conversation okay. is being recorded, okay? Amen. Okay. All but right. I'll see I, I got to be up front with you. I got to be honest with you because I don't want to hoodoo you. And I don't want you to hoodoo me. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth, Brother David. It has been it has been challenging for me since I have come back to Tennessee. I come back in Tennessee in 2014 because I was basically going from state to state, uh, looking and watching and, and being a part of this great nation and, and, and basically being a storm chaser for about seven or eight years. But whenever I come back to Northwest Tennessee in 2014, basically teetotal all hell busted loose in my life. And I think that's about the time whenever I get, become acquainted with you directly was whenever I come back in 2014, because Daryl at the time had a relationship with brother Roger over there pertaining yeah. to the Beulah Baptist at uh, uh, church over there in Martin. And that's basically mm -hmm. whenever Daryl had some sort of shindig going on over there in Martin with a, with a recovery shelter. And that was yeah. basically the first time that I ever become acquainted with you. Is that correct or not? I believe that is correct, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, ever but since, Cowboy ever, Church. ever since then, ever since then, you've heard me say different things about Daryl, and I'm pretty sure that you probably heard Daryl say different things about me. That you kind of just let it roll off your back because you don't know one way or the other, yeah. rather not it's so or not. You're just going by what we what we telling you. Um, yeah. But 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 the bottom line is this: whenever I did come back here, and I think you can verify this. Daryl Plunk, and I think I, I would like to believe that he was doing it ignorantly, that he was not doing it intentionally. But Daryl Plunk was against me to the point that it caused a division between Brother Roger and me. Well, uh, it did. Maybe, it caused like a division. It caused a wedge there, and because okay. of it, Brother Roger was skeptical about even letting me come into his fold. Now I will say this, Brother Roger, out of all the people. 
in this area that has not helped me. He's been one of the ones that did help me is because he loaned, he basically gave me a thousand dollars after I explained to him what I had in minds of doing out here. He handed me a thousand dollars. He said, Juby, if you really have that in your heart to do this, he said, here is a thousand dollars. And I promise you, I've not gotten any type of money from anybody else in this area, but there was a pretense to it or a closure to him giving me the thousand dollars, which was, which was, he had a nephew at the time that I think had been in and out with the law. He'd had some problems. And he said, since you need a helper, this is what I'm going to recommend is for you to get, go and get my nephew. And you keep up with the hours and how much that he's helping you. And you deduct that from that thousand dollars. And I said, brother Roger, you can bet your butt on it. I'm going to do that. And I did. I did. I, I worked him and basically it was one hand feeding the other and he come out here and he helped me. He wasn't the best of uh, labor in the world pertaining to him being a, a skilled carpenter, but it gave him an opportunity to grow. It gave right. him an opportunity to get away from that type of lifestyle that he was involved in and set his mind towards doing what, what he was doing All out right. here. Now, since then, I don't know what's happened to him. I don't, I, I, I don't have no idea towards what happened to Brother Roger's nephew, but I will say this about Brother Roger. He helped me. Yeah. Yeah, he helped me too. He helped me. He sure did. And I, I will always be and, grateful for that. And I don't say that. You know, I was with Roger, but I never, I think I ministered at one time at Roger's place. And it was on a night service, and, and he wasn't even there. So it's not that, uh, I kind of spoke like I wanted to minister, but but I'm not mad at him about that. No, no, no. Ne know? Neither nor am I. Yeah. Neither nor am I. And like I said a while no. ago, I'm hoping that whatever Daryl was doing, that he was doing ignorantly, that he was not doing it intentionally to try to bring destruction into his prior well, buddy's I, life. I think it's all about our message that we give out. You know, uh, sometimes our message can be so straightforward and, and so, uh, you know, uh, if we're flocking some people, that certain message that comes that people think, well, I, I don't think it'd be ideal good idea for David to come and minister because, you know. Well, I'm I'll, 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 I'll say this. On the, on the other hand, I'll say this about Daryl. And and I have yet to find anybody in this neighborhood or in this area that's willing to admit to this. But Daryl, there towards the last, after we finally buried our old hatchets, uh, quit trying to dig up bones on one another. Um, yeah. We we come to the we come to the conclusion that Daryl looked at me. He said, "I don't believe the way you believe, Dennis." He said, "But I believe that you believe in what you believe." Yeah. Uh huh. And I have That's yet right. to hear anybody else around here explain that to me that way, because Daryl did know uh -huh. that that uh, pertaining to the compassion and, and the fortitude right. that I put forth in all this. That there must be something to it. He he must be convinced or brainwashed right. or something. Well, that's what I told you. Yeah, that's what you that told me you, too. You wouldn't have wasted your time doing all what you believe in, then it's so. Absolutely. You know, I, I, you know, and and that's kind of the way I, I told Daryl that you know that you was committed to what you believe. But, right. You know, if but that's your mission that you take a part of. That's right. And that's I right. Couldn't but, but, but now, but now going back to what actually occurred with Christ during the time that they run upon to an individual that they didn't understand or didn't know, and uh -huh. they was wanting to pray fire down upon that person's head, Christ said, you know, it not what spirit you're from. For right. if this person be for me, they cannot they be, be against me. You That's may right. not understand them. You may not, um, agree with them. You may not, you may not even want to support them, but in actuality, that is the truth because you cannot be against something if you're for something. Right, and that's why you have to sit down right there. When you said that, that means a lot. And sit down right there and say, okay, let's see what you're for. Then if you for something that Jesus ain't saying for, and say, well, right there. Brother, then that's you know, questionable. Then it becomes questionable. And you pulling me, or he'll say, right there, Dennis. 
you go in that way, and that's against the teaching of Christ. Well, that's you right. Know it's not. That's right. You know, and so therefore, we're, we're, so you're thinking that you are going by Christ, but you're really not. That's and right. I just want to show you. That's in in, you, in other words, in other God. words, in other words, you can be sincere, but at the same time, you can be sincerely wrong. Right. You sincerely wrong, but you believed that you was right and you wasn't gonna take no for an answer. But there's a there's a there's the word there that Christ left for us to guide us and you say, Oh man, you know I was wrong. You know, don't be so big of a person, David McDonald, to say that you're wrong and I'm not. If I'm wrong I say, Oh man, I'm I thought this and that's the way we have to be as truly individual. If we truly seek Christ and he'll show us if we are going. We wrong. have to be and teachable. Wrong, we we say, have to be I'm teachable. Right. We have to be teachable because the Bible says to study to right. show thyself approved. And 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 if you're not teachable in people uh, reforming you, right. once they show you your error and right. say, "Look here, brother, you're interpreting this incorrectly," and then yeah. you still don't interpret it the way that it's supposed to be interpreted, then it's questionable. But once more, it's not up yeah. to me for me to judge you or condemn you pertaining to your right. relationship with the Lord. Neither nor is it, it your relation, uh, your responsibility to judge me over my relationship with the Lord. Right, because we know that Christ is, teaches you, then if you don't accept it, then it's not for me to sit there with a, a stick in my hand and make you accept it. It's my job is to move on. I can't and when I said, no, nope, it's going to be like this, and that's the way it is, then I'm going against Christ. Exactly. He said, if, if you don't agree, shake the dust and move on. So, exactly. Well, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. First of all, have you changed your telephone number, yes or no? Uh, no, sir. It's It's been off, and I've got it. I had to buy just regular minutes. And so when I call and I'm at home and I know I'm going to talk a while, so I don't burn my minutes up until I can get my service back like I want. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, you, so you basically wifi, got, you basically got a two, uh, two party line right now. You got two, two lines going. Wi-Fi. This is my Wi-Fi number when I'm at home. Okay. All right. And if I'm out traveling and if I think it's going to be a long call or something, I don't answer my regular phone. I got you. Because like I said, it burns up the minutes, but when I get Back CC. home, my Wi-Fi. I can go back and get the numbers that them called me. Okay. Next question. Next question is this: Why do I owe you the? Why do I owe you the privilege of of this telephone call today? What What, what has fostered this uh, this call today? Well, you had called me and I didn't get back with you. Oh, okay. I had seen I had seen your number pop up and mm. I was. My God, that's been two weeks ago, my... brother David. Well, I can't. But I remember I told you I always will get back. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I, man! I've been I've been so busy. I've had car tow up. I had to go hauling in from Maryland. Then I had to try to fix it to get another one. Then that didn't tow up, and so I had to go get a loan from the bank and then buy a car. And the and the I've seen the one I wanted, and it took so long that the car dealer was saying, "What well, uh What's taking so long?" I said, "Well, call my banker." They said, "I'm you know they got to go through the paperwork." So I was kind of hinging on that and, uh, you know, making a way for my grandson to get to, to the, you know, the, the school, kids get to school. Right, so right. So I kind of like been uh, doing a lot of things. And, okay, uh, but, okay. In other words, you've okay. had a lot of irons in the fire. Um, um, yeah. Let me ask you, um, you've been you've been witnessing all this stuff on TV, regardless uh, of the hurricane, hurricane number one yeah, that, uh -huh, that come yeah, up sir. through there and then hurricane number two. Have you ever seen so uh -huh. much destruction in your entire life? Well, uh, you know, the Bible says famine and time is going to come. So I may not have never seen it, but it, I'm not shocked because Christ said, when you see these things, Hey, I'm telling you before they come, you know, perilous time. So, I know it has to happen, and and I and, and, I, and, I, and I don't know I don't know if that you're aware of this, but I'm sitting here looking at the Weather Channel right now, and they're talking about all the records being broke and this and that. But they're they're actually um, halfway leaning towards another tropical development that could very well impact the uh, the the coast. The coast again, probably in the next week or so. 
So this thing ain't all in behind us yet, pretending uh, all these freaking storms. Uh, I believe that. Remember, I think I told you that, that some parts may have been underwater for so many years, and God said, I'm going to make this dry land now. Well, did, did, did you water, did you water, see used to be dry land water? I right. mean, that's just the way it is. Right. Did you see that on Facebook or YouTube? I think it was on YouTube. Uh where where they was talking about below below uh South America, which would be below Cuba, down there where the ring of fire is, that there is an area of the earth that's opening up. And it's basically no, just married. just sucking up a lot of water right there. I don't know, man. No, it, man. I don't know if this planet Earth is fixing to break open. I don't know what's fixing oh, yeah. to happen to us, brother. But there's a lot of things going on right now, like Yellowstone, yeah. Yellowstone National Park. Uh, it keeps having a lot uh, of a lot of rumbles. Um, the yeah. earthquake out in California. Um, they keep talking yeah. about the the uh, Santa Rea uh, oh, earthquake out there. Places. And and uh, and uh, and the New Madrid Fault earthquake right here. I mean, whenever the Bible talks about that, as you, as you yeah. shall tangibly be able to see, the days approaching yeah. that no flesh shall be saved, except except for God's, God's elect. That God will shorten those days. That's exactly yeah. what it means. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, there's gonna be earthquakes in many places, so it don't shock me. Why? Why it don't shock you, David? Well, because that's what Jesus said. He's already done warned us. Said, when these things happen, hey, they have to happen. He already so, warned us. He already gave out the advisory towards letting us know that way we wouldn't be blindsided. Isn't that right? And the whole, right, the whole fast, you know, believers, hold, what am I going to do, David? I'm going to hold fast to my love for Jesus and my love for, see, you can't love Jesus without loving his word without loving his directions. Many people say, I love Jesus. And then when Jesus tell them to do something, they said, no. Well, Jesus said, well, you ought to mean with your mouth, but your words and your language and your your deeds don't add up to it. Well, they got and a so circle. They got a circle right up here on the map right now that I'm looking at. It says tropical uh, very likely to impact and the circle goes from Brownsville, Texas all the way up to basically Panama City, Florida. So anywhere in that area, on the Texas, Louisiana, okay. Mississippi, Alabama, uh, coastal area is what they're aiming towards right now. Towards and of course this this is just a, a two week projectory or whatever. So it, it could change. Yeah. But I'm just saying that that's the area that they got circled right now. And it's like, my God, when are these things going to quit? Well, they're not. That's what I'm saying, Dennis. They're, they're not, not, are they? And what, my, you know what, David Mack, my, you know what my job is, is to say, would you accept Jesus Christ today? Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Like, you, you know the world has to end. That's the only place. Remember, we're not going to be on earth forever. I know that. God done told us. And, so this, and, this, and, this, and this is only our temporary homes to begin with, if you're born right. a Christian. That heavenly home. Is the place where there's no sickness. That's no that. Harm, there's our no goal. Death, that that's no our fire. goal. That's our goal. That, that should be. That should be. All right. All right. I, yeah, I seen. A, all right. Fire. I seen a thing on Facebook last night or YouTube, um, okay. where some girl had jumped out of the boat into a mar yeah. a marsh area down below the the uh, down below the uh, um um uh, the islands there b b below uh. Florida. And the water was a uh -huh. hundred and one degrees. What? A hundred and one well, degrees. That's what it was showing on the buoy. And when it was, she jumped off in the water, she said, "My God, this is this is this is warmer than bath water." So, yeah. so if the water is that warm, brother, what is going on? Well, you know, so much of the water has to become poison. It's what it says, bitter, bitter with worm, wormwood is something bitter. So I imagine warming stuff up will 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 make everything start to digest, and the water will turn. Well, bitter. you know, you know that's Vegetation that's killing that. that's killing fish, that's killing algae, yeah. that that's killing uh, marshes, that's killing right. a lot of things in the ocean, man. I mean, right. th this this is not looking good. But this way, remember, Jesus said these things has to happen. Remember, we're not going to be on earth forever, then. I know. 
Remember, I, I, I won't be. I won't have to take all this medicine I'm taking just to make it day to day, and and, and eating this earthly food and stuff. There is a place called heaven. It's what Jesus wants you to get your heart and mind on. To. And that's our goal. Because if you only love this world, then we are in misery. Jesus Absolutely. Said. If you only have hope for this world, then you are much misery person. Because I'm letting you know this world cannot stand. Right. This world will leave because uh, this is. This is the this is getting rid of Satan forever. This is like nothing that lies and cheating and steal and evil that refuses to love can enter into the kingdom of heaven. I know. So I'm letting you know, people. Now, if you accept Jesus in love and, and keep my Ten Commandments and love one another best you can, then you have a place in heaven. So e each one of us individual. We'll be we'll be measured by God individual. Now, if God puts the Holy Spirit in us, then we're going to boast of the things that are Jesus Christ, boast of the things that are coming. And right. we won't let this world tribulation keep our minds so occupied that we'll be so, we're heavenly minded, but, you know, earthly, no earthly good. Either we earthly good and, no, and not even heavenly minded. So we got to balance these things up. Yeah, I'm living on earth. I need food every day and I need water to drink. But uh, most of all, I need to love and, and keep a compassion toward what Christ has predicted. Absolutely. Because I, I may not wake up tomorrow, Dennis. I mean, I'm fixing to be sitting here in some more years if I live. So I can't wake up from the dead and go back to the Lord. I see my mistake. Let me get them now. Let me go back. No, what, what it was is what it was, David. However you live, so I want to say love never fails, what the Bible says, so I want to set my love, because I've lived long enough to try to set love cover my faults and my sins. Why, David? Because I want to hear him say, well done. He said love never fails, and yeah, I wish I could live 200 years on earth, but I know it, I can, but Jesus Christ offered me that opportunity to live forever in heaven. Well, I won't be sick. Well, I won't have to be around liars and, you know, confuse people who are trying to make you your footstool, you know, and stuff like that. Only those that love one another that God has put the Holy Spirit in. Amen. They guess God's commandments will be there. So that's the true. That is the true prize for me. Anything less than that, I, I will not accept it. I'm too old to try to fake it. You know, and, and I, I'm, I'm old enough to know that you can't fake it. So I come to Jesus just like I am. I'm well, at his mercy. Right, I understand. And, I understand. And, well, I'm, I'm, look, I'm looking at this uh, weather thing right now, and it's saying that of between okay. 160 and $100 billion damages in Florida alone pertaining to that last oh, storm. Yeah. Man, it don't take long for M Milton. destruction Milton. to do something. Milton. M I L T O N Milton Hurricane Milton Milton yeah that's that's a bad boy it don't take long for them storms to, and, to, to, and 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 it also wreaked something like twenty something tornadoes and yeah, and I, and I think they would the, some of them tornadoes was just devastating communities man I know and that's but still. And we're talking about we like F three tornadoes coming down, like a hundred and fifty mile an hour winds, you know. Yeah. So I mean, yep, that, that's going to happen. I mean, it's it's bad. It it really is. It's bad. Of course, we we look at the the news pertaining to the Middle East. Right. It's just a powder keg fixing to fixing to go off. Um, I just don't well, know. You know, I had a granddaughter that lived in Florida, Dennis, and she's back home now. She is. You know, so yeah, she's back up in Dresden. So. You know, you, you leave from places like that. You know, she was born down here and everything. So when that happened, so she's back home. So you got to learn to get away from them places. And I went uh, last week. They had they said they had a truck at uh, Country Corners. Okay. And I was going to go up there and get some, go by the Dollar Tree, you know, spend about $30 and stuff. And I went by there to see with the truck there. And they said, no, the truck pulled out this morning. And uh, so I didn't contribute anything to it i got you you know I, i'm i you know do my little old part you know well if it wasn't a ten dollar worth of stuff absolutely can you imagine what we together doing good things to 
to help those who are underprivileged. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. Absolutely. That's what Jesus would be a proud man. Absolutely. But, yeah. but we're talking about billions. How many millions does it take to make a billion? Uh, well, too many for uh, somebody like me. <laughs> Somebody That's like us, somebody like us. Yeah, I think if I'm not mistaken, right. it takes a, a, a million million to make a billion. Yeah, uh, yes, I know. Tom, you know, there's a hundred million, there's yeah, two hundred yeah. million, there's five hundred million. Then there's, yeah. you know, uh, but it takes a million uh, million to make a billion, if I'm not mistaken. But what? Uh, but they they no, giving out numbers. Million. They giving out numbers right here: 160 to 180 billion. Just over that one storm. Yeah. Just over the one storm. Yeah, but, you know, we live in the home of the blessed, so I guarantee you everybody will come together, and everything's going to be all right there. Recuperate? You think we, we'll we recuperate? Just, oh, yeah, no doubt, man. This is the United States. When I got they, you. When we unite, when we unite under the truth I and got do you. what's right, you know, that's, that's all it takes. You know, so it's so happening right now. So many, even the administration there right now, they're having a hard time because so many of the old administration didn't want to let the new administration move in. Exactly. Like exactly. And you're one of the few. Have. You're one of the few you people can. that I've talked to that that can see beyond the trees and the forest um, right. to actually see that this thing didn't develop over this one administration. This thing didn't develop right. just within the past past presidential administration. This thing's oh. been going on now for probably the past 25, 30 yeah. plus years. Now, what did Jesus warn us? He said, you can't serve two masters. That's right. Now, we the people, we vote in and we vote out. That's right. When someone is voted out, if they want to hang around and try to make the other one fail, that's pitiful. But the damages, you the damages, the damages that that other presidential uh a, a nominees can do sometimes it takes decades to recover from whatever the, whatever that that other presidential uh done right right and and, and ain't none of them gonna do everything because no. they're just men they can't do everything that everybody wants right 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 so but when the people speak when the people speak and say well, okay you you was in there but we we want you gone well that person should be big enough to, to leave without trying to destroy. Exactly. It's pitiful when you see people. I just pray about the situation, but you know. Do you see uh, where did you have their own minds up? Did you did you see up. did you see where Donald Trump requested from Congress of bringing in the military to protect him from oncoming uh, missiles? Well, I might have heard some of that. He was that, saying that late, he was saying that, yesterday that, that we got more we got more uh, dangers from within than we ever thought about coming from Russia or, or China. And he's probably I, right. He's probably no, right. We got a lot of nut jobs out there. You know what? We got people out there that are, they're just wanting to well, press the big button and, and and end this thing. Well, there's one thing about it. We have a constitution to protect and uphold. Now, anybody that's going against that Constitution, to me, they are wrong. That's right. Because if we got a law that we're supposed to go by, so people don't make no mistake. If that person is, is trying to be bigger than the Constitution, over the Constitution, then they can't be the right person. Exactly. we got to have some common sense. America is great. Why? Because of our Constitution rule of law. That's now, right. If anybody coming here and trying to overthrow it, well, we got Russia, we got China, we got all these people want to overthrow it. Now, wouldn't it be sad if somebody just overthrew it from the inside, like President Lincoln said? He said, now, if your country is ever overthrown, it'll be from the inside. Uh -huh. Because everybody, your, all your governors and stuff should have a rule of law to uh -huh. go by to make sure that nobody never gets above the rule of law. Uh -huh. If anybody wants to make themselves above the rule of law, then they are the threat. Then they are the threat. Amen. Yeah. That's the threat. They want to be above the law. They yeah. don't want to be like me and you. I know. They want to be above and to do whatever they want. I know. But Lord have mercy. And that's what well, causes remember, chaos, and that's what gets people killed. Well, you remember, remember what Jesus said, these things must come. So. Yep. Yep, yep, what are yep, you going to yep. do about it, Daniel McDonald? Ain't you going to get you a gun and go out and... Nah. 
I'm going to sit here and do my part of being a decent, lovable, respectful human being and stand with the truth. Amen. And, I, and I'm not going to never turn against my country. I don't, uh, whoever president is in there. Amen. Whoever president is in there, that's the, the people voting the man, you know, you know, if, if he's in there. And the people can vote him out. And the I people can vote like him out. It. Right. I may not like him or I may be fine, but. The majority of we, the people, did it. So. Well, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Getting off the conversation here a little bit. Um, I, I, did you did know, did you uh, did you get did did you get did you get all of your uh, problems settled pretending to get in an automobile where you can depend upon being able to go to and fro yes. and from? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. yeah. I went in debt big time, man. I got me. A, I went on it. Got me a 2016 monster. I got you. You got something to uh, hold up. Nine. You got something to hold up. Yeah. And, and odds are that'll probably be your last investment the rest of your life on it. <laughs> probably would. Uh, like I said, you know, I, I don't. Uh, you said I you, know you, you was I, almost I'm 70. Expiring. Yeah, I'm expiring, but I'm, I'm a happy expiring. And, I'm and, only happy because I know Jesus. You know, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. Um, every, everything else right. going all right for, for in your life pertaining to you and Darrow and Roger and everybody else? Everything else okay? Well, that you everything know? going all right. Well, you know. Yeah. You know, well, you know, actually, I just, well, I, I went to church yesterday, but I don't make it to every meeting and every, uh, you know, this and that. Right. You know, I, I like to be a drifter. You know, God kind of put in my heart, man, don't let, you know, I, I kind of like want to be committed. I'm committed to the streets. I'm a street minister. Right, right. Well, you you're, know, well, I'm you're, preaching. you're. I, I preach love. Well, you, you know, you there's know a difference between a, a pastor, somebody, yeah, somebody right. that can perform a marriage in the morning and a funeral in the afternoon that I don't think right. that I've ever been qualified to do towards pastorian. Well, there's a difference in, in somebody being a pastor versus a minister, or there's a difference between an evangelist and, and a pastor. Right. But they're all basically ministering. It's a form of ministering, regardless whether you're ministering towards performing right. a marriage or, or ministering towards burying somebody. Right. It's all a form of ministry. If you can be for him, how can you be against him? That's right. You know, if a preacher is preaching the word of Jesus and, and saying what's right, then I can't go in there and, and you know, proclaim that it's wrong. But will you do me but a favor, Brother David? Done. Will you do me a favor? Yes, sir. After we get the, off this conversation, which I got, I got to go because I got a doctor's appointment at one forty-five. Okay. So I got to yeah. kind of brush things up here. Um, I just got through looking um, on uh, on social media. Uh, it was YouTube pertaining to Franklin Graham. I was in the middle of okay. listening to that while ago, and I didn't listen to all of it. I've only listened to part of it, but he was uh, basically revealing something to the public. Franklin Graham, that he just could uh, yeah, no longer, yeah. he just could no longer keep it, keep within. Uh, okay. And well, I don't I'm know for sure, I don't know for sure what it was about, but I do, I, I did get this much out of the first part of it, that he was basically bashing those that was not being conformed in the scriptures. That regardless uh, of what politician that you was, that if you was not sticking to the scriptures, that you was going beyond the boundaries of, of, of where you should be, regardless of what party that you was. So so when right. we get up well, whenever we get off this conversation, if you don't mind, please look that up uh, pertaining to Franklin okay. Graham. Franklin Graham, yes. That's Billy I'm that's William. Billy Graham's son. I think he's seventy. Yeah. He's the same age as you are. Yeah, he's on up there. Yeah. And and you know, uh any time that you hold a big position you got to think about everybody. Well, like if you're a minister, if you're a preacher, a minister, or you hold, you know, leadership job, you can't be so narrow-minded to think of just only me or the people that look like me. Well, I have to speak to everybody. Well, if you can't speak to everybody, then your position ain't going to be. Well, much uh, you're going to leave some people out. Well, according to what, what according to how that this was presenting itself this morning, that just got released like today, like it, it had just been yeah. released, like within the past three hours of whenever I seen uh -huh. it was that 
conscious consciousness speaking consciously speaking he had reached the plateau that he could no longer take it is what it said and that he had to expose these things okay well that's okay that's good well if you're if you're a true man of god you're gonna have a consciousness about you are you not right and you post them and you post to stand up for what's right see jesus already done gave us the orders the steps of our orders to stand up for what's right what's right for who for everyone we all should be under the same law and grace and mercy of god if you try to put more mercy and grace on uh, that's an instant because i'm an african-american man if i try to put more love and grace and mercy on me and thinking that uh, these people here don't deserve it, then I'm messing up bad because Christ speaks to all of us as one. Equal, 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 equal. Right, right. If you try to make anything unequal, then you're, I'm be, I'll be the problem. That's the reason why. That's the reason why the Lord said. That's the reason why the Lord said, "Whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved." Not whatsoever. Not whatsoever. But whosoever, in other words, it don't matter if you're rich, poor, black, white, red, green, yellow, it don't matter who you are, whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord. Preach it. And if you can't, now, that's just my opinion. If you can't do that, then in my eyes or whatever, then you you really not should be a leader. You're not in line. You're not in line. You're not in line. You're not in, you're not following Christ to the fullness. Yes, yeah, right. That's you know, right. You're not in line. Follow him. If you're going to represent him, represent the way Christ has laid it out. Exactly. Because you're the problem that keeping people separated, or segregated in their minds. Exactly. Like this and this and that. Now we're all right. Okay, you you're his creation, but you're not his child until he put the Holy Spirit in you. That's right. And he ain't gonna put the Holy Spirit in you until you say, Lord, here I am. You be got you gotta become want... submissive. You gotta become submissive to I... that to that Holy Spirit because yeah, because God ain't gonna force that upon you. That's right. But you what he will do, but what he will child. do, but what he will do, Come he'll he'll make you regret that you didn't. He did. And he said you have to become as a little child and just say, lean not to your own understanding. And say, well, why should I give up all this just to be like Christ? Well, well see, you keep that and you're going to lose in the end of what Jesus said. That's right. But if you give it up, and then you're going to get some grace stuff added to you. Amen. You're going to get more love, grace, and mercy, and a heavenly home. Amen. You know, that's worth more than any lottery that you can hit them all together. And it still ain't going to be worth what I got for you. Amen. So should I keep my own way? Should I keep old David McDonald away or give it up? <laughs> Lord, I fall on my knees. I give it up, Lord. Amen. Your mouth is too high. I can't climb it. I can't go under it. But you'll carry me if I'll just yield to you. Amen. Boy, uh, Amen. A dummy like me know that, baby. And me too. And me too. Uh, get getting back getting back on on uh, brother Daryl. Brother Daryl doing all right. Yeah, I, yeah. Daryl's doing okay. Uh, you know. Uh, I mean, we're all going well, through know, we're all I, going I, through I, tough times right now. You know that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think. He might be going through a little this with his kids, grandkids. That know, that's like that's that's well, typical. You know, that's but, uh, typical. That's typical. But you know, I, I just try to encourage everybody to just be there when they meet. You. That's it. You know, because that's what I do to mine. That's know? it. You that's know, it. God, and 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 uh, and and you know that that they got a life of their own. And they're going to yeah. do, they're going to have to learn their lessons the same way that we learn Amen. ours. And, and you know what? Believe in the scriptures for if you raise up a person in the, in the way of God, that he will not flee from you or, or depart from you, that eventually they'll come back. They'll come back. And, and, and that's a prophecy coming true in and of itself. That if you, that if you raise up your children in the right way, they'll come back. They'll come back. They'll know. When, when the storms hit, they all said, well, they'll know who to call upon. That dad and mama house, there was a little something to eat, and there was a roof over my head. That's I right. Mean, I couldn't smoke in the house, and I couldn't do this, but, but I could. But I was living. Down. I was living. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't have to. I didn't have to get out here and steal and village the the community right. just to stay alive. I was living. Amen. 
Amen. But, you know, we had to learn our lessons the same way. Yes, sir. We sure and, did. And but listen, I do appreciate the telephone call. And, uh, yes, sir, brother. And, and I'm going to share this, if you don't mind, this conversation. I'll put it on one of my YouTube channels a little later on. But I just wanted to thank you, Brother David, and tell you that I was only joking to you about you not coming out here. You're welcome to come out here anytime, yeah. and you know that. And I don't think yeah. I don't think that you're scared of the community out here because of what went on years and years ago. Because that was then, yeah. and this is now. That was yeah, then, hey. and this is now. And you know as well as yeah. I do, you're more than welcome to come out here, daylight or dark. It don't well, matter. And you can come out here and well, talk to me anytime. Me. Call me anytime or come out here anytime. And Daryl well, is too, and well, Brother yeah. Roger is too. I mean, I'm grateful for anybody yeah, that wants I, to I, share a little bit of conversation with me and talk to me. Yeah, well, okay. Well, you have a good day well, now, and uh, you, I'll you, keep you, brother, I'll keep you in my prayers. All right, I got to go to the doctor. I got to I got to go to the doctor. I do want to give a praise report. Um, that machine that they put me on that vacuum, that uh, womb back machine, is costing uh -huh. 150 dollars a day to rent out. Plus the supplies, which is probably about, I don't know, probably about $75 a day for supplies. Um, it's finally yeah. doing its job, and maybe within the next uh, week or okay. so, they'll be able to take uh, this anyway. machine off of me, and I'll be able to turn that back into the company. And, uh, well, I'll tell them there. So, so my, womb, my womb is healing. And it and it has and it has already healed up about eighty five percent. So it's on its way. Eighty five percent healed. Uh, eighty five percent healed. Now my bones pertaining to the actual operation, it it healed up immediately. All right. My fusion, well, my left fusion. Of course, that was in January. Mm -hmm. But my God, this is October, brother. Okay. Well, I've been going through this now about ten months. I've been going through this about ten months, and I'd be so glad whenever I can yeah. take this day gum machine and and, yeah. and basically ha turn it back into them but but i do want to give out that praise report and tell okay. tell you that these prayers that y'all been praying for me has okay. worked are working Thank prayer you. is real I'll, god is real all right yes sir we, we know it and uh I, we did i did call your name on the altar prayer when uh, you I, you know, you told me he's going. I, I appreciate sure that. that. I, I thank Dennis, you. I thank you. I thank you. Yes, sir. Amen. Well, listen, I you have a good day. I got to get ready now. You too, brother. God bless. We love you. God bless you. <laughs> See you, brother David. Bye. I, I, bye. <laughs>